what comes to mind when you hear Portugal. Could it be rich and savory seafood dishes or the famous beaches? Perhaps architecture or history? For some, Portugal is associated with legendary soccer players, cities that have left their own legacies, and maybe even wine. This is why today, we have picked out the best thoughts you must add to your list when you finally get the chance to explore Portugal. But before diving deeper into these sites, subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell to be updated on our new content. Starting off the list at number 10 is Chapel of Bones. Weirdly enough, this chapel found in Evora, whose walls are lined and covered with bones, skulls, and dead bodies hanging, is weirdly fascinating. The monks thought during the 16th century that so much valuable and was wasted on cemeteries and burial grounds. They came up with an alternative as they did not want to desecrate the bodies buried, so they relocated the bones, and voila, the Chapel of Bones was born. Evora is a notable town that is notorious for its prestige and riches, and the monks thought that the Chapel of Bones was a perfect contrast to the vibrant life. This place is not for the faint of heart and those with weak stomachs. If you love dark, dreadful beauty, you should definitely come and see this. Next, at number 9 is the University of Quebra. With over 20,000 students attending this prestigious institution, the University of Quebra is one of the most ancient universities in Europe. Isn't it amazing how a 732-year-old university still continuously operates and has maintained its reputation all these years as one of only five universities hailed as World Heritage Sites? The Quabra University was built at the command of King Joao V, and it used to be a palace, but only a few traces of its regal past is left after it was developed and remodeled over the centuries. However, the throne room, Solid Dues Capelos, is where the doctorates are awarded for their hard work. Next in line, at number 8 is the Alco Baca Monastery. Founded by the first Portuguese king, this Roman Catholic monastery is one of the first Gothic buildings in Portugal, and easily one of the most significant among all the medieval monasteries. The stillness and calm surrounding the area are more than enough to give you inner peace. It also includes the royal tombs and the royal pantheon. In 1989, the monastery was listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site due to its size, the purity of its architectural style, the quality of the materials, and the care with which it was built. It is an establishment that embodies Cistercian Gothic art. Coming in at number 7 is Sao Jorge Castle. This royal structure is visible no matter where you are in Lisbon, and its grandeur stands out. The Sao Jorge Castle has stood the test of time, as it dates back to Roman times and became the home of King Alfonso II. At present, tall walls surround the castle, and around 18 towers can be explored by tourists. It also houses the only garden with Portuguese forest trees like strawberry, cork oak, olive, carob, and umbrella pine. The archaeological site also offers limited access to tourists, and archaeological finds from this site are displayed at the permanent exhibition, which travelers can visit. Next, at number 6 is Cape Girau. This cliff stands proudly at the height of 1,870 feet, making it one of the highest sea cliffs in Europe. It overlooks a beautiful ocean, and in 2012, a platform made of glass was added to make the experience more exciting. If you embrace thrill and adventure, then Cape Giro is a must-try. Here you can practice your paragliding and base jumping skills. Let's continue with number 5, Obidos Castle. The Obidos Castle sits atop a hill and is a historic site that served as a royal palace and performed military functions. The main building where the late Portuguese king slept was transformed into a hotel. The main fun in Obidos Castle is walking the pathway that has no handrails. The path is old and worn out, so it's a bit dangerous, but if you watch your every step, the risk and thrill are worth the view you can enjoy along the way. Next at number 4 is Cade Ribeira, dubbed the soul of Porto. Cade Ribeira is a beautiful picture of several medieval streets that end on a square by the river. It's a great place to see the neatly packed pastel-colored cottages facing the ocean during the day. Many nearby restaurants offer terraces where you can enjoy the nocturnal views of the river and the bridge, as well as traditional cuisine. 
It is brought to life at night by evening clubs that promise unforgettable nightlife. You can go on romantic strolls with your special person, too. While many people find this area a lovely spot to wander, dine, sightsee, and people watch, others consider it to be overrun with visitors and its cafes to be pricey. However, most agree that the breathtaking views make a mandatory stop here. Coming in at number 3 on the list is the Pina National Palace. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to live in a fairy tale? At the Pina National Palace, you'll get a taste of how it feels to be royalty as you explore the building. It overlooks a breathtaking view as the place stands above the many clouds. It used to be the king's summer residence, but after his death, it was passed down from one royal generation to another. Later on, it was acquired by the Portuguese state and was classified as a national monument. Now, it is a museum enjoyed by thousands of tourists and locals alike. The Pina Park surrounding the Pina Palace is a broad area blessed with vibrant green life that measures around 200 hectares. The park is composed of secret paths you can discover on your own. There are also walking paths, pavilions, beautiful lakes, and ponds scattered all over the area. The Pina National Palace is considered one of the seven wonders of Portugal, and that's enough reason for you to go check it out. Next, at number two on the list is the Praia da Marinha. With the clear, gradient blue water in perfect view, it's no surprise that Praia da Marinha is titled one of the most beautiful beaches in Portugal. The Crystal Sea rendezvous with golden sand and sky high cliffs on one side. The sparkling water and abundant marine life make it ideal for snorkeling. Aside from that, several boat tours leave from different towns along the coast. These boats will take you to isolated sea caves and grottos. Some activities can be done in Praia da Marinha, and another one is hiking. If you are up for a more intense activity, taking a hike along the cliffs is a great way to appreciate the area's natural beauty. You will notice the different rock formations from an elevated spot and can even explore other beaches nearby. Another thing about Praia da Marinha is that you will rarely find a crowd so you can take in the stunning view without the noise and all the distractions. And now, the number one on the list is Belém Tower. Yet again, another UNESCO heritage site that's located in Portugal. It's obvious how the Belém Tower got the top spot on our list. Also known as the Tower of St. Vincent, the structure is positioned on top of the water. The tiny fort served as a barrier decorated with watchtowers and battlements topped with the Cross of Christ and what seems to be the oldest rhinoceros carving in Europe. Inside the tower, the governor's room can be found. There is also a king's hall and another audience hall. Aside from these, the building also houses a chapel and terrace. These floors are connected by narrow spiral staircases, which can be crowded when visiting time speak. The Tower of Belém is called the Icon of Portugal, which invites many tourists in. You should prepare for long queues if you want to see the tower. As the building's interior is relatively empty, the natural beauty of the Belém Tower lies in its elaborate exterior, which can be enjoyed entirely from a reasonably distant view. A boat tour is the best way to understand why the tower is highly esteemed and does not lose popularity despite the many years past. Portugal may be a small country, but what it lacks in size, it makes up for in magnificence, diverse culture, and spectacular landscapes. The place is a tourist hub that every traveler would totally enjoy. Its rich history and vast beauty will leave you in awe. That's it for this video. We hope you liked it, and please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. See you soon. Bye.